Charlie. Congratulations, Charlie, on your achievement. So, um, tell us what your prize is. Um, I get two days at McLaren. Hasn't sunk in. Do you have any idea it could be you? Not really. No? Mm. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself and your abilities, do you? So, this. We were really impressed because you went out and got yourself a Saturday job oh. and that made a massive difference. And you completed your calendar and you were so you know keen to get your work bits done. So that showed commitment, which is a leadership style, which is what McLaren loved. Yeah. So, Becky, you were just saying um, earlier that um, Charlie, you've noticed a difference in Charlie since he's been coming along to Tanner Moth in you. So what's massive. The main, what's the main differences you've noticed? Just an effort in life and participation in life and believing that if he puts the effort in, then good things come out of it because he started it and he's like, I'm not going to get it. I, you know, these things are out of my comfort zone and, you know, teenage, usual teenage is issues at home. But all of my friends who've seen him from the beginning till the end is an untold difference. I cannot tell you the difference in this child having done this course. And I've said to all of them to send their children on this course because if they can sort Charlie out, you know, you know. <laughs> no, he was a good boy, really. Yeah, well, you were a good boy, lovable rogue, but yeah. the effort that, that, that you've leveled up. You you've, you've gone from not really gonna, you're just swimming about, not doing anything. You've leveled up to you've got the chance for this now and you know that you put the effort in and making an effort. Yeah. But what about you? And yourself, what do you feel you've changed? I'm getting a bit of self confidence. And again, knowing that if you put the effort in, yeah. you'll get something good out of it. So, can you think of anything in particular where you've been more confident? Um, just in general. In general, yeah. that's good. Walking that's into good. your job. Yeah. Because the Charlie before you'd done this course would have been like, I can't do it, I can't do it. And you just walk in there. And I see him now, he's one of the lads in the garage with his uniform and getting on with it and learning and enjoying it. And I think you've realised now that you can do a job that you're going to enjoy. You're not going to hate going to work every day because you can get paid for something you love because you've put the work in. So, yeah. well done, mate. Well done, you. And so, if there's other people out there, your age, 13 to 16, what would you say to them? Do you think they should join up? Yeah, I think they should. Yeah? Yeah. Any messages for them? Uh, um, not off the top of my head. No. 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 Get over your embarrassment and do it anyway for your own life. Is that the yeah. main thing stopping you from doing it in the first place? Yeah. Or the embarrassment of doing it? Yeah. Okay. Not at the course, just no. at meeting people and doing something What's like it? that. He was very, he had his place as he went. And you know, when people we knew, and you stayed in that comfort zone. But this is so far out of his comfort zone. Mm. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Mm. But you've done it. That's and I'm outside. so proud yeah. of you. We're proud of you, Charlie. Thank you. <laughs> well done, you. So, is it October, yeah? Yeah. Have you got anything to add? No, I mean, how did you feel when you heard his name? I cried. A good cry. I did. I have to say, I was wishing and hoping and praying that it was going to be him because I know what it means to him. Like, he doesn't, he's not got many words and he'll be shy and look at the floor, but this is a lottery win to Charlie. Like, it really is. So I know what it means. And from age two, it's cars, 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 not anything else. You've got like a 90% of his brain is cars yeah. and he knowledge and he knows what he's talking about. So, things I don't I know. I struggle to un uh, listen to anything else and remember anything else, to oh, be honest. Cars. Yeah. yeah. It'll go in one ear out the other unless it's cars. But like things English like. In school. Even when you were 10, if, I want, if we're watching a film and I don't know how old the film is, I'll tell him to look at a car and then he'll tell me how old the film is because he knows the car. It's, well, it really is that within a couple of years, it really, he really does know stuff when it comes to that. So. Good for you. you do well, deserve it. Thank you. Again. Congratulations to you, <laughs> Thank you. Well. Yeah, well done. <laughs>